What's up guys, it's Goose Man coming back at you another video. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, click all notifications because hey man, I do some Saints videos. I'm gonna get back in the swing of things. You know, I had a little hiccup um two weeks ago, but um I'm gonna get back to the swing of things on YouTube. Um but anyway, Saints win 12 to 10, man. What a great game this was. Defensive battle. Both teams really had a tough, tough time uh getting things done offensively as both defenses played phenomenal saints they, they made uh just a few more plays uh just a few more plays um than the cowboys did uh you know pinning the, pinning the cowboys deep back on that last drive on the 10 yard line helped sack and dak prescott on the first play helped when they had no timeout so really the da uh, dallas really couldn't work the sidelines Saints did a great job and what a great great call burning the blitz on that hail mary call not giving dak prescott time to throw the ball you know and, and uh maybe reach the end zone so so saints win 12 to 10 you know not much not much offensively for the saints uh teddy bridgewater i mean you know i can i can make another video i can make a whole video about teddy bridgewater how I think he, uh, I mean, he just does not, I mean, I don't know if he can or can't or or there's no play calls designed for it, but he just not, does not throw the ball down the field. Doesn't do it. Um, uh, I just, I mean, it's not, maybe the Saints are just trying to, uh, you know, just win a few games and uh, two Breeze gets back. And then uh, maybe, uh, uh, you know, then, of course, when he gets back, uh, offense will be much, much different because Breeze is, uh, you know, Hall of Fame quarterback. But anyway, I'm just, just not really impressed with Bridgewater and his lack of going down the field. Saints have got to go down the field. We got, I mean, we got Ted Ginn Jr. We got um, Michael Thomas, Camaro. We got to throw the ball down the field, man. Anyway, man, what a great, great defensive def defensive performance by the Saints and the Cowboys, too. Um, but hey, look, Saints are 3-1, and one, leaders in the uh, NFC South, 2-2 two two, uh, over the uh, Bucks and the uh, Panthers are 2-2. Two and two. And then the lowly Atlanta Falcons. What's up, Atlanta? Y'all sitting down there at one and three. Uh, I hate I hate Atlanta. So, hey, I'm a Saints fan. We don't like Atlanta. They don't like us. It is what it is. So they're sitting down in the last place at one and three. They got problems. Uh, but hey, man, look, the Saints are two and zero oh without Drew Brees. Two and zero oh without Drew Brees. I never would have. I never would have bet that. Um, I thought this six stream six game stretch. I thought maybe hey, if they can go three and three in this six game stretch. Uh, and beat, you know, uh, Tampa, Jacksonville, and Arizona, and lose to Seattle, Dallas, and uh, Chicago, hey, I'll, I'll take that any day of the week, man, three and three. And, uh, and if Brees can come back for Atlanta, I'd take that any day of the week. But now they're two and oh without Drew Brees. They're three and one. Man. So, hey, what's up, Houdat Nation? Saints, man, Saints, you know, uh, I was worried about our defense, but they played great tonight. Hopefully they can keep it up. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and hoot at.